another video and today is um how i met Derek jeter so this video is probably gonna be a little short because i mean i just i don't i'm not in the mood to make a video right now i don't want to make a video right now but again i i have to keep on going the grind so let's get into it so first i was going to the marlins game it was against the san diego padres you lost 5-4 um, that set my mood yesterday, and we almost got no hits, so that makes me happy, as you can see. Um, but, uh, so here's the story on my Derek Jeter. So, he was, so he had a suite, uh, luckily, uh, thank you to someone. Thank you to the Lord Jesus. Uh, but, so we had a suite. And how the Marlins configurate their suite. Wow. Awesome. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, my God. Okay, so how the configuration of the suite is that... So, first, there's, like, a suite. And it's, like, an actual suite. So, that's where... And it's, like, a room probably as big as... Probably like two times bigger as this room. So, probably five times bigger as this room. And it has about food, it has water, it has beer, it has popcorn, and it has a couple of chairs and tables. And then you have a glass door, a, a, a glass window across the whole, the whole thing so you can see the game. And then you have a door which leads out to the balcony, which has two rows of six seats. If I can find the picture, I'll put it right here. Um, but we were sitting in one suite, and Jared Jeter was sitting in the other suite next to us. So we were close. And we would always be looking at him, seeing what he was doing, make sure he didn't walk outside, uh, which he did a couple times. No, no, he didn't walk outside. But, but here's the funny part about this. Um, so... Um... So what would happen is that uh, he would be sitting out in the balcony and then out of nowhere he would actually go into the, what's it called, the thingamajigger, the actual suite so we can get his food and stuff. But as us idiots, me, at least I'm an idiot, uh, we, I, I would walk outside uh, as a little idiot would do because I'm an idiot. Um, but I would walk out there and he wouldn't be there and I just started flipping out and I did that about five times. So, as you can see, I'm very, very smart. Um, so that's why I went summer, but whatever. But, eventually, at the end of the game, he finally decided to come out. Um, and we would see him there, just walking out casually. And we, and all of us were thinking, oh, because I was with a couple of my friends. So, we would just all be flipping out. And, we met him. I'll put a picture of me. Uh, so at first my dad said because I wasn't paying attention. He was like mr. Jeter can I can my son get a picture with you and then that's the picture right there I'm gonna move out of the way um, So he signed it on this hat well not this hat but like the same color to everything and I had to go and get a new one because I, I, I love this hat and I wanted to wear it so But I obviously can't because Derek Jeter signed it. I'm not gonna worry. And then I got this hat, and then I got this hat. So I, I I got three hats yesterday. Uh, so and then my friend had the magic marker, so he could so he could sign the hat. And and he had like a little rally towel, so he signed that one, and then he signed my hat, which I'll put a picture of right here. Um. But uh, I was flipping out after that. That really made my day. Probably my summer right now. Um, but yeah, it was a fun game yesterday. And then we went to the store and got these three hats. Then we dropped off my friend at his house. So I guess it was a pretty fun day. Yeah, but but yeah, I mean Derek Jeter. I mean he's a pretty pretty good baseball player, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, so, so that was a fun game. 
the only thing I'm frustrated about is again the team it the team itself. I just really want to win a World Series, honestly. I know it's gonna take a couple of years. I just really want to get a World Series, uh, especially after this weekend with the 25th anniversary. I just, I just really want to win a World Series. But I think our new prospect Connor Scott, I think he's really gonna help the outfield and. Uh, maybe one of our outfielders can become an infielder because I think we're, we're really short on infielders, especially now that Martin Prado's on the DL. We're really low on infielders. I mean, I think at third today we had Miguel Rojas. Rojas was at third. Um, Riddle was playing short, Sonny Castro, and then Justin Bork. What we have besides him is um uh Yadier Rivera. So I definitely think that we can get Brian Anderson back in the infield with Connor Scott. So that's gonna help. So I'm definitely looking forward to the years. But I'm gonna end this video before it gets too long. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.